Hello class, this is your instructor for your course ME2535. I am going to review a little bit of your week 3 discussion. Um, your questions are right here, step 1 or number 1 of your week 3 discussion. Make sure you always, always review the video given to you to create a foundation of your um, discussion prompts and understanding the subject. Now you also have a, a, a record, medical record given to you showing you a typical scenario of a patient with the codes listed. So please pay attention that these are the codes that you will have to evaluate in order to understand and find the correct code um, given to you in step two. Step two is all about um, how to find the code in the ENM section of your CPT book. And um, what steps did you take to find the correct code? Um, find the correct code, assign the procedure code, explain why you chose the code that you did. And number three is what effect did the ENM guidelines have on your choice of code? Explain how you use the guidelines. So anytime you see these descriptions of adding additional information, asking you, explain, provide an example, um, please make sure you elaborate the subject to at least three to five sentences in your answers to your discussion so that you get maximum points. Now, just a review, quick review. This week three discussion is about evaluation and management coding in your CPT coding manual. So you are reviewing that along with the book. Now, remember, you also have, um, let me take you there. You have chapter 11, which you can download here. This is your chapter 11 um, on your computer. Um, I want you to go to page 312, and that will take you to Preventative Medicine Services for Evaluation Management Coding. And you will review this information here before you can answer the questions. Also, you will go to your CPT. Um, let me write this down for you so that you can see it. Um, go to your CPT manual. Make it bigger so you can see it better. Come on. Um, you're going to your evaluation management chapter, which is your uh, first section. So it's going to be section one. You can find all of that on your contents in your book. And uh, just at the very beginning of section one, you will find the coding guidelines. And uh, that's where you will find the information of evaluation management as well. So please make sure you review all of this before you do your discussion to make sure you gain maximum points. Another piece of information I would really want you to um, Make sure you keep in mind is going to the roadmap. And let's say week three roadmap. I want you to make sure you always follow this map in order to gain points. For example, for discussion thread initial post, you want to make sure you have done your interactive 3A and understood it well because it is helping you understand the concept of discussion. Just like that, as you move downwards, you will also add this information the reading the interactives the educational activities and all of that is basically leading you to words assignments doing a good job on assignment because you're doing all your activities and you're following the information you're gathering information you're memorizing things and now you are going to do a great job on your assignment as well as end up doing a great job on your assessments as well and don't forget the extra credits Extra credit is one of the most important things that I want you to make sure you do every week just to gain extra points. Your extra credit, credits are always located below your assessments for each week. Okay, I hope that information helps you. Just a, a, a closer look at your um, course for week three um, discussion. And don't forget to stay in touch with me for any questions. My text number is, is everywhere on the announcement page. Just review some of these assignments and you will find my number and keep me posted, please. Thank you.